Hi, everyone, and welcome to Security Speakeasy, where we talk about all things network security. Today, we are talking about an advanced DNS layer threat called DNS tunneling. My name is Ashraf Aziz, Product Marketing Manager at Palo Alto Networks, and today I'm joined by my colleague and industry expert, Arun Kumar. Arun, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Thanks, Ashraf. Uh, I'm Arun Kumar. I'm the Product Manager for DNS Security here at Palo Alto Networks. So today we are seeing the DNS threat landscape rapidly evolving, and adversaries are abusing DNS by using advanced techniques with the goal of infiltrating your network and stealing sensitive data. So to kick things off, can you tell us a little bit about what DNS tunneling is and how it works? Sure. Um, from a DNS security standpoint, we have this detection DNS tunneling. And DNS tunneling is essentially the use of DNS protocol for command and control, as well as uh, exfiltrating data out of your network. What happens with DNS tunneling is you have an attacker who has infiltrated your network. He has a um, system that is infected. He's got all the data that they need to basically uh, steal. Uh, so what they end up doing is they have a domain that they register. They are in complete control of it. They have the authoritative server under their control. So once everything is done there, what they need to do is basically use the DNS um, protocol itself to tunnel the packets out and um, send it to their authoritative DNS server. And Towards the end, what they need to do is basically just stitch the data back together and get the sensitive data that they are uh, looking for. So it can also be used essentially to um, uh, download data into your network. So let's say if the uh, attacker doesn't have the sensitive data yet, they could basically download um, additional malicious payload um, to move around laterally within the network. So that kind of helps them facilitate uh, the next stages of, uh, of an attack. And so why is it that DNS tunneling is so popular amongst attackers? Is it because of the lack of awareness? Do organizations simply just ignore securing their DNS traffic? What is it? That is right. I mean, most organizations don't have a good uh, security solution around DNS. Um, in fact, a lot of people we have spoken to are not aware of the numerous types of threats that exist over DNS. Um, now, if you consider DNS, it's usually very noisy. Uh, if you look at a single host, like your laptop or your phone, that itself generates tons and tons of DNS requests. Now, if you multiply that with the number of hosts in your organization, that's going to be millions of DNS requests coming in over a given minute or uh, within an hour. Now, it's easy for an attacker to hide within that noise. So DNS tunneling is essentially for that slow and patient attacker. So they invest a lot of time. So they, they, have, they have the whole time in their world so they can hide in that noise and slowly exfiltrate data out and meet their objectives. And now you mentioned organizations are not doing anything to secure their DNS traffic. Can you give us some recent examples of where DNS tunneling was used? Yes, we all have heard about solar winds, uh, the supply chain issue uh, that was back in December, 2020, I believe. Um, so what happened over there was DNS tunneling was used for more of a command and control thing. Um, so where the attackers basically after from an infected host, they would basically get out system information or like machine name, et cetera, and send it to their command and control server. And that kind of helped them understand if they were in, um, uh, in the, like the infected host was of interest to them or not. If not, then they will just shut down. If, um, if it was interesting, then they will carry out their next objectives. And so within the DNS threat landscape, we've heard about another variation of DNS tunneling called ultra slow DNS tunneling. Can you explain what this is and how it's different? Sure. So ultra slow DNS tunneling is um, something we have labeled it. It was part of the X Hunt campaign. Um, and there was a snuggy backdoor which was used over there. Um, the key difference with ultra slow DNS tunneling is that it is even more slower than the traditional DNS tunneling mechanisms we have seen. So even for exfiltrating a very small file like system information or something, it can take close to two and a half to three hours. So it's very, very slow. Um, the key difference though is instead of using just a single domain for exfiltrating data, 
Um, ultra slow DNS tunneling essentially uses multiple domains. Um, in this particular case, they use four domains and they would spray the data between these four domains um, and basically stitch them back together once they had all the data. So key thing is it's even more slower and it uses a lot more domains to exfiltrate data out. So it's very difficult for security tools to go and catch such an attack. So now when it comes to these sophisticated and advanced threats like DNS tunneling, what is Palo Alto Networks doing to protect its customers? So DNS security is a cloud-based service that is attached to your next-gen firewall or Prisma Access solutions. We are, in fact, a resolver agnostic solution, so you do not, do not really have to point to a resolver or something for getting that DNS security. So you could consider, like, even if a ma uh, basically an attacker goes to their own malicious resolver, as long as a firewall, basically your next-gen firewall or Prisma Access solution is in the path, it's going to take an action on it, figure out if there is any kind of malicious activity happening. For DNS tunneling detection, what we have done is we built a profile of how the benign DNS traffic looks like. We leverage our data set, be it from passive DNS that we have, or from our wildfire cloud or the other threat services that we offer. So we built a benign DNS traffic profile, and then we kind of look in like if any suspicious activity that deviates from that benign traffic, we know uh, to look into it and figure out if there is any DNS tunneling activity. So when talking about the whole rich high fidelity data set, that actually helps us give out or rather uh, release lot many industry first ML power detections and predictive analytics. Uh, what you can see is with that, we are basically offering 40% more DNS coverage than any other vendors out there. Well, thanks for that context, Rune. Now, just to recap what we learned in this episode, we learned that with organizations failing to secure their DNS traffic and the lack of awareness around the many threats over DNS, we're seeing attacks like DNS tunneling remain popular amongst adversaries. We also learned that one of the main objectives of DNS tunneling is data exfiltration, which means if you're not properly securing your DNS traffic, you can risk having your sensitive data exfiltrated out of your network. And finally, Palo Alto Network's DNS security offers 40% more DNS threat coverage than any other vendor and uses industry-first detections to protect against threats like DNS tunneling. Well, I'd like to thank everyone at home for joining us in this security speakeasy today. If you liked today's episode, be sure to like and subscribe, and also let us know what you thought about the video in the comments. For more information on our DNS security solution, please visit paulautonetworks.com.